What's up, brother? Can you take a photo, please? Sure. Yeah, can we, uh, we take a photo? I take five of them? Yeah. All four of them? Take it like that. Can you get it? Yeah. I think it's going to be live on, on the mayor's feed. Guys, I'm going to need everybody to take a couple steps back. You're not crowding the door. We're going to come out and go to the left over here. All right? Just do me a favor. Keep a reasonable distance. Come on, please. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, right over That means still back up so everybody else can get a turn. All right. I take two more steps back. You further than that. Please. Thank you very much. You guys like a little bit. Like I said, still get coming out and going to the left. No. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Whose line am I going to use? Or am I going to we had a sound system, so we're going to have to go with this, for the most part. Can you tell me if it helps you guys out? Is that loud enough? Yep. I think it's loud enough, right? So as we bring everybody out. Thank you. 
everybody begins to come out. Can we have the guardian angels come over a little? They've always been in the street with us. We want to be consistent. Children have guns. It's our obligation to let the police know. Absolutely. 
Well, right. we know that our neighbors have guns. It's our obligation Absolutely. to let the police know. Right. Absolutely. It right. is unfair for us as a city That's right. to look at NYPD, to look at clergy, to look at the mayor, and say, what are you going to do for us? We as a city have to unify. We must come together. If there's never been a time to come together, tonight is the time for us to come together. The number 22 seems to have significance. Our mayor served in the New York City Police Department for 22 years. Today is January 22. And last night, a 22-year-old was killed. There's significance in numbers. I believe in God. And I know that God doesn't make any mistakes. This is a moment when we as New Yorkers have to stand together, shoulder to shoulder, and we have to put aside our petty differences, and we have to make it clear that our police officers are the stabilizing factors of our community. Our police officers put their lives on the line every day when they leave their house. I was ma I'm married to an officer who served, who retired after 20 years of service. Every night I prayed, and I thank God for bringing him home safely. My heart goes out to this family like every single New Yorker's heart is, his heart is going out. I don't understand where it's an outrage. I don't understand why every single New Yorker is not here standing with us. That's right. If it had been someone else who was killed by a cop, you would be out here. You Amen. should be ashamed. Say that again. You should be ashamed and embarrassed. This is an opportunity for all good people. And as Bishop said, 95% of our people are good to come together. This is an opportunity for neighbors to protect neighbors. This is an opportunity for all good people to stand in partnership. This is the beginning of something positive that will happen in our city. I believe in God, and I know that from every bad comes the good. This is the worst. From this, something good has to happen. And we're depending on our brothers and sisters in this city our great city to stand up and do what is right and i believe in god and i trust god thank you Ingrid. our next speaker is the leader of our city the honorable mayor thank you thank you and clearly uh, there's no uh, need for me to speak but the need for me to be heard by you. And there's a, there are several, there's several undercurrents to the story. And I, I, as I was walking in, I saw men and women of the FDNY. Mm -hmm. I want to thank them as well. I don't know if they're still there, uh, but you know, there's a road action in the Bronx. You know, there's a subtext to this story that I don't want to be missed. The three officers that were involved, two of them were born outside this country. One in India and one in the Dominican Republic. The third is a first generation. And so when you start talking about the contribution of the immigrant community to this city, you better understand the reality that they are putting their lives on the line yes, for a city and a country that they love. I went out to Queens and visited the third officer and sat down and spoke with his parents and just saw how much they are concerned for our officer that's fighting for his life right now. And they understand what every parent understands, that you just want your child to come home. And when I hugged his mother, she talked about she just stays up every time her son was on duty. This moment is so important. Violence won't divide us. Right. It right. will unite us. Yeah. Right. We are going to unite around this issue. And we know 
Some would say 95% of the city is good. I say 99% of the good city is good. Let's weed out that 1%. This is a fight, violence against New Yorkers. That's the battle we're in right now. We're in a battle with a small number of people that believe they will hold our city hostage with violence. That will not happen. That will not happen. And we're not going to be intimidated by those who believe we should look down on the men and women who put on that bulletproof vest, stand on street corners, protecting children and families, as though they should be ashamed of the occupation that they are holding in this city. They are not ashamed. I wasn't ashamed to wear that uniform, and they're not going to be ashamed to wear that uniform. I have the facts of my police officers. And I want to be clear on that. I want to be clear on that. And we are unapologetically supportive. That's right. Unapologetically supportive. Back to blue. So the loudest is not the majority. And I'm saying to you, my cops, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, that is not our city. Nope. Our city is not Facebook. They're face-to-face -face people. Yeah. They're not Instagram. They want an instant result to protect their community. They're not on Twitter. They're not on social media. They're on our streets looking for you. When they walk out of the train station and see you, they're happy to see you. When they're taking the train and you're there, they're happy to see you there. We need you. And you need us. Right. And we're not going to allow anyone to divide us. No. No. That is not happening. Absolutely. And I'm saying don't give up. Right. Don't become so frustrated and disenchanted to allow the violent people around us to do what they think they can do. No. Don't allow them to take and hijack the peace of our city. No matter what happens, we have to stay committed because that bullet could have taken innocent person, any innocent person's life. Right. Eleven month old baby. Yeah. Oh, Eleven month. That's any of our child. And Ingrid is right. Twenty two year old baby was shot. This is unacceptable in this city. Absolutely. And I'm committed yes. and dedicated. Mm -hmm to unite us around this issue. That's right. That's right. And we can have philosophical disagreements about things, mm -hmm. Amen. but you can't have a disagreement about a gun. No. An illegal gun is a line in the sand. Right. And we need to send a clear and loud message. You carry a gun in our city, there is no apology to you. You can't carry guns and use guns in our city. That message must be clear. We made it too easy and too comfortable for people to carry guns in New York. Right. And we made it too easy for guns to come to our city. Right. We made it too easy for us to have a gun environment in this country and in the city. So we need help from the federal government. Mm -hmm. We're doing our job in NYPD, taking thousands of guns off the street. Every one they take off, we're having five come in. How do we stop this if the federal government does not stop the flow of guns in this city? And yes, we need community centers. Yes, we need to be proactive and give people the help they need not to feed the crisis. Yes, we have to deal with housing. Yes, we have to deal with homelessness. Yes, we have to deal with employment. But I was poor, almost homeless, lack of education, and I never picked up a gun and took someone's life for it. There's no, there's no excuse. We're not giving an excuse to anyone. There's no excuse to shoot an 11-month-old baby. No excuse to assassinate these officers. No excuse to have the shooting we saw in Staten Island responding to a dis domestic dispute. There's no excuse to be a gangbanger and think you're going to wreak havoc in our city. No, no. it's not happening. No. No. It's not happening. No. And for four years, while I'm the mayor of this city, we're going to make sure this is a safe city to yeah. raise our children and families. Now we have a number of politicians here uh, from federal, state, and uh, 
the local level. Okay, they are not going to get a chance to speak, but I do want to acknowledge that they're here, and we thank you for being here. This prayer vigil is number one. We want to pray for the officer who lost his life. We want to pray for his family. Yes. The second prayer, we want to pray for the officer who is in the hospital and his family. Then we want to pray for our police department. And then finally, we want to pray for our mayor that all entities in our city, state, come together to make New York the place that it should be, the greatest municipality in the world. So at this time, Bishop, the Honorable Bishop Alfred Jameson is coming to pray for the young man, Matt. God bless you, Honorable C. Brooks, our Honorable Mayor that is here today. We were out here last night, and we're out here again tonight. Um, our hearts bleed. I have a 22-year-old son. I hugged him. It's a hurting feeling. We've been pastoring over 40 years. We've been praying for our young men. We are members of Brooklyn, Bedford Stuyvesant. We came here tonight to pray. Thank God for Bishop Seabooks and Bishop Figaro, Bishop Claudio that have come tonight. This is our second night out here. They accuse us of taking money under the table because we stand for what's right. Mm -hmm. If we can be brought up in Bedford Stuyvesant, Fulton Street, the Brevard Chaplains, and God can save us, he can save anybody. Mm -hmm. And that's why we come out here for tonight. Again, our second night, we'll be out here the third night, the fourth night, however many nights it takes to let the people know unity prevails. Uni the prophet Habakkuk says, how long shall violence take over the streets? Habakkuk, the first chapter says, how long shall blood roll down the streets? We ask the same question in this cold. How long? How long shall we toss to and fro? And don't tell me what we can't do if we stick together. The Bible declares, and I will heal the land. And I will heal the land. And I will heal the land. Our land needs to be healed. And so we stand. Now, Father, we speak the word of the prophet Habakkuk. Yes, Lord. Violence. Yes, Lord. Strife. Yes, Lord. Father, this young fellow now, God, you know the name. You know the beginning from the ending. Moses says, Lord, thou has been our dwelling place. Before the mountains was brought to fall. From everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Our trust is in you. Yes, Lord. Our hope is in you. Yes, Lord. We will not deny your power today. Yes. It does not matter what religion we serve. We serve the only God. And we trust in you. Though we walk through the valley in the shadows of death, we fear no evil. Because thou art with us. There's no doubt in our mind. God, you are with us. We thank you for a caring mayor. We thank you for a concerned police officers. We stand for them. Now, God, you command your angels. We command your angels to watch over every police officer. We command your angels to watch over every police officer. Turn every straight bullet around. Cancel every assignment of the devil now. And now, God, indeed, we put our trust in you. Now, take care of the family now. Oh, we don't know name by name, but you know all things. all things. And so we trust you now. And we believe you now for the family now. In the name of Jesus, we pray for that wife. We pray for that wife. Lord, we pray for that wife. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, we pray for that wife. You have been our shelter. And so we trust you now, and we rest in knowing that you are God, and you will never leave us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 The second prayer, 
as he begins to pray for the police officer that's in the hospital who is recovering, that the Lord will sustain him. It's coming from the Honorable Archbishop Eric Figueroa. Amen. Thank you, Bishop Seabrooks, Honorable Tony Herbert, to the mayor, to the distinguished leadership of our city, Bishop Claudio, Bishop Jameson. I'm here tonight because I am the son of a police officer. My father worked 11 to 7 a.m. And every night he would leave the house, my mother would tell him, you come home in the morning. And I, as he left my house, that rung in my ear, the possibility of my father not coming home in the morning. My uncle worked in this same precinct, retired police officer David Figueroa. My nephew, my brother, works on the police department. And my grandson, 21 years old, is on the list to be called to this honorable position. It is an honor to be a police officer. I am proud to be a son of a police officer. My heart bleeds blue because of the loss of this young man, just one year older than my grandson. And for that police officer in the hospital, somebody's son, somebody's father, somebody's brother, we must stop the violence. We must eviscerate the gun traffic into our city and join with our mayor in blocking those guns from coming into Come our on. city. Yes, now, Father, we thank you for that officer fighting for his life. We pray, dear God, you would dispatch angels around his bedside to do duty to preserve his life. Bring him back as a testimony of your power that evil will not prevail against good men and women. We thank you for this great city, O oh God. We thank you because you placed us here. And we use everything in us to transform our city for your good and for your glory. Thank you for the mayor. Thank you, Lord, for the mayor. Thank you for the mayor. We pray that you'd wrap your loving arms around him, give him vision and foresight, that he might be able to lead us to a dispensation of peace and safety. God, I give you glory. I thank you in advance for the healing of that young man. Bring him back. And now I pray for every officer yes, yes, yes. in the name of Jesus. And just like my mother told my father, let them come home, let them come home. Let them come home. in the morning. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Our next prayer is coming from the Honorable Bishop Porter. He's going to play great for the New York City Police Department, police officers all over. Um, we, number one, have been supportive of the New York City Police Department when everybody during the pandemic, pandemic some politicians and some non-politicians, calling for to fund another police. No. And no. we knew that if anybody was going to get hurt if the police got defunded right. was in the black and the Latino community. Right. Amen. Right. So we marched 4,000 people across the Brooklyn Bridge yes. and supported the police department. We are transcending boroughs. This ain't about boroughs. This is about work. This ain't about titles. This is about saving lives. Right. And tonight we're coming to, play, to pray for our New York City Police Department and the Honorable Bishop Ishmael Claudio. We want to honor 
the mayor, our honorable advisor to the mayor, the honorable Tony Herbert, the UCC leadership. There is a reason why we're here. Hay una razón porque estamos aquí. We know that our mayor from the very beginning, desde el principio nuestro alcalde, no ha sido un alcalde que simplemente eh, se representa para cierta raza. He hasn't been a mayor for one group of people in the city. He's been the mayor of the entire city. Yeah. We've seen his work. Hemos visto su labor y su trabajo. We've seen it when the Asian community was being attacked. Lo vimos cuando la comunidad asiática estaba siendo atacada. He was standing there with them. Él estaba parado allí con ellos. We saw it when the Muslim community was being attacked. Lo vimos cuando la comunidad musulmana estaba siendo atacada. He was standing there with them. Él estaba parado allí con ellos. It is no different now. I know he is the mayor of the city. Yo sé que él es el alcalde de la ciudad. But he is not new to this, he is true to this. Él no es nuevo a esto, él es real y entregado a esto. Y en este momento queremos orar at this moment, we want to pray for the police department. Yes, yes. And everyone that knows us, y todo el mundo que nos conoce, just want to make an incision. We have the Assemblies of God trusted to us for the whole zone of Manhattan. And he came to pledge support. Él vino aquí para dar en este momento lo que es su, su apoyo a la familia. And if they need a temple, y si necesitan un templo, para velar los restos de Jason Rivera, he said, there is no problem, he'll open up any house of worship that they need. Amen. This is what the city is. We are united in one cause. Esto es lo que es la ciudad, estamos unidos en una sola causa. And now that the Latin community is hurting, y ahora que la comunidad latina está en esta hora dolorida, dos ángeles, two angels without wind, have been hurt one has been called to the presence of God. The other is fighting for his life. We want to pray for them. Queremos orar por ellos. He stands with the Latino community. And Mayor, I just want to say, this is not a referendum on you. It is a referendum on recidivism. And we need to come together as one to eradicate the illegal guns in the city. Padre Santo y Padre Eterno, Father God, we come before you. Yes, Lord. We thank you, te damos gracias. Thank you. Porque estamos parados hombro a hombro, we are standing together shoulder to shoulder. Yes, Lord. Yes, estamos aquí, Señor, sangrando. Yes, Lord. We are bleeding, yes, my God. Yes, Porque sabemos que esto ya tiene que acabarse. This has to end. Yes, ya basta, Jehová. Yes, enough is enough, oh God. Yes, Lord. And we come before you, the giver of life. Venimos delante de ti, el dador de la vida. Father God, first to comfort those that are hurt. Yes. Aquellos que están doloridos. Yes, Because it is not only the immediate family. No solamente es, Señor, la familia inmediata. But it's the family of blue standing behind us. Yes. Es la familia de azul que está parado detrás de nosotros que está dolorido. Yes. They lost, my Lord, two of their own. Yes. Han perdido dos, Señor Dios Santo, de este precinto. So vinimos orando que tú le fortalezcas sus corazones. We come praying, O oh God, that you may fortify their hearts. Yes, And once this is over, y cuando esto se acabe, Father God, let our words not be frivolous. Yes, que nuestras palabras no sean livianas. Let us stand and work. Permítenos pararnos y trabajar. Because it is time for us to come together. Yes, es tiempo de nosotros unirnos como un solo hombre y una sola ciudad. As one man in one city. We are standing behind our mayor. Yes. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. amen. We also have some of our fraternal organizations, some of the presidents and leadership here. First I'd like to call from the Grand Council of Guardians, Mr. Charles Phillips. As we stand here today, 
you know, I thought about what Eric said earlier, and, and the idea of moving it or trying to take the guns off the street. But what I realize now, the fight in City Hall, the fight down in D.C., we chose him to put him there to represent us on that fight. But there's another in what we can do in support of our police department. We must become the blockade. We must become the ones to stop the pipeline coming into our city. Now, people keep this in mind. We know who they are. We know the ones who are carrying the guns. And it doesn't matter whether it's a child or some relative. The idea of now is that this must come to an end. Because I would hate to see another child get shot. No. I, I would hate to see another one get, get hurt badly. Sure. This must come to an end. The saddest thing about it, I mean, whether anyone realizes it or not, once that blue unit, once that blue uniform is put on, not knowing what the person's going to walk into, this is the fear of the average officer on the street. Right. I mean, over the years, we talked about the different issues that affect us. But now this is the time where we must come together and support the police department. That's right. I mean, we ask for a change agent. Yeah. Eric is our change agent. Yeah. Right. We, we ask for a change in the way things are done. This point here, as of now, we must finish the change. And finishing the change, we must realize in dealing with the pipeline of, what, of allowing these guns coming into our city. It must stop now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it should have stopped a long time ago, but we definitely need to make it stop now. And, and the same way as we would say before, you see something, you say something, you need to convey that message straight to the police department to get the guns off the street. People, I'm not going to stand here and talk about this, but the issue is we must do something now. Yes. Beautiful. We're now going to offer up a prayer for our mayor, and then we're going to hear from another one of our fraternal organization presidents. So, Bishop. Can we get all the pastors, all the pastors front forward, the chaplains? I want you to put your hand on the mayor. Let me say that in this in scripture, a spirit that God has given the church, number one, power to bind and loose. And as we pray this prayer, we want... Father, we come before you on this evening. We first give you praise and honor and glory. Because you are God and beside you there is no other. You said in thy word what we commit to you you will establish, God. So we commit the mayor of New York City to you, Eric Adams, for tonight, God. We ask you, God, to establish his reign. We ask you, God, to give him grace for the journey that is before him, God. I ask you on this evening to give a favor with you, God, a favor with the people of New York City, God, that we will rally behind him, God, to do what is necessary, God, to bring this this city back to peace, God, to bring this city back to unity, God, in the name of the Lord the Jesus Christ, God, I pray that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, that it will guard his heart, it will guard his mind, God, I pray, God, that you will give him wisdom, God, wisdom on what to do, God, wisdom on how to reach us your people, God. We know, God, that there's nothing too hard for you, God. You said a house divided cannot stand, God. So we stand in unity tonight behind our mayor, God, to do what is right, God, to bring back this city to the place that we know we should be, we could be, and we will be, God. I thank you, Father God, for a man, God, a man after God's own heart, but a man, God, got the people's heart heart, God. I thank and I praise you on tonight, God. I pray, God, that a 
everybody that rallies around him in his inner circle, God, in his God cabinet, God, that your grace will be upon each and every one of them, God, that they will do what is right in your sight, God, and we won't fail to give you praise, to give you all the glory, which is rightfully thine. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, so I need all the community folks to step back. I need all the cops to come forward. All of our police officers, I need you here. Officers out there, I need you to put your hand on your brother's shoulder. I need you to put your hands on your brother's shoulder. We're going to pray for you right now. I need all the officers up front. Just before we start that, let me just make sure we hear from our Latino president, Anthony Miranda, standing here with us right now. Before we answer this prayer, we want to make sure that, a couple of things, just make sure that we know that the message that's being said tonight is a unified message. It's a message to say that we all have a role to play. We need to make sure that that message is very clear, that everyone in our community, this is not just a prayer for the officer who lost his life, it's not just a prayer for the people that are here, it is a prayer saying that we are of one community, and we all have an important role to play, and so we cannot be left out. The struggle, the message that the mayor said is that he's going to lead us, and that the city is one city. We need to make sure that we are operating on that premise. We have leadership and we have the people united saying that there is no other place except our own home. This battle is going to happen from house to house, from family to family, from one community to the other community. There's no separation between any of us. No. When an officer dies or a person from our community is killed, it is the same message. It is through the heart of our community to our people. Make sure we understand that message. And when we pray tonight, we pray for the officers and we pray for our community. Because an attack on the law enforcement is a signal that there's chaos. Our community not only needs to be safe, but they have to feel safe. And the message that's being brought here is that there's no separation in any of us. There's no separation between these officers and our mayor, and there's no separation between our community. We all want to be protected and we want to be safe and we need to do it together. There's one community here and it's all us, all together, no separation. Guns need to be removed. We need to be sure that we are working and sharing information. Remember, no one is left alone. So there's a lot of struggles going on. This is a domestic violence case that happens. Right. That means that services need to be available to our community. The mayor said that making those services available to our community is important. But making sure that we have the method to be able to help each other and the connections is extremely important. Let's not lose that message tonight. We pray for these officers. We pray for the officer who lost his life and the officer who's fighting for his life. Amen. But we Amen. pray for our community Amen. that they understand Amen. that we are in this struggle together. together. And there's no separation between Amen. any of us. None. Amen. 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 In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful, Almighty God, we ask that you honor this presence with your mercy. Mercy that warms our heart. Mercy. Like that is enlightening our minds yes. to find the right direction. Yes. To bring peace, peace, unity, harmony, and love in our city. Yes. God Almighty, we ask you that you bless our ears so we can hear your voice. Yes, yes. Lord. God Almighty, we ask you that you can bless our eyes so we see your bounties and goodness which is in this city. Yes. yes. God Almighty, we ask you that you bless our minds yes. so we receive your wisdom. God Almighty, bless our hearts so we receive your love yes. and give love to this city. Yes. God Almighty, have mercy on our brother that he is in your presence. Yes. God Almighty, give 
healing to the brother who is fighting for his life. Yes. God Almighty be with their blood and blue family. Yes. God Almighty bless our leadership to find the way of Abraham, yes. father of prophets, yes, father that brings all his sons and daughters together. Yes. God Almighty bless our New York City. Yes. God Almighty bless United States of America. Yes. In your name we make this prayer. Amen. Amen. I want to thank the men and women of God who are here this evening, who, have lo who I've known for a very long time, who have been at every funeral, every prayer, every vigil, all throughout the state of New York. I also want to thank Tony Herbert for organizing this as well. I want to pray for our mayor, the city of New York. But I want all of you to know, 75% of the guns recovered from New York State come from states along the Iron Pipeline, I-95. I want all of you to know that the United States Congress holds most of the gun manufacturers and gun distributors. They provide them with the benefit of immu immunity which means as the Attorney General of the State of New York, I am not in a position to hold them liable for all the death and carnage that is occurring on the streets of New York City and all throughout the State of New York. But I want to thank the State Legislature for carving out an exception in cases of negligence. And I want all of you to know, as the Attorney General of the State of New York, we will look to develop a case to hold these gun manufacturers liable for the death, the carnage, and for their negligence. And we need to join with the ATF, and we're joining with states all across the I-95 to establish a task force to end gun violence. God, welcome this young officer. He's no longer in pain, no longer in sorrow, no more guns. No. And my faith teaches me, and these bishops teach me, that we will see him again. Yes. Yes. Please pray for all of those families who are crushed in pain and grief right yes. now. But know that the city of New York, we stand with them. We stand with NYPD. We pray for them every yes. night. Yes. We pray for all of our workers, yes. FDNY, NYPD, everyone who bears, a u who bears a uniform to work for all of us. I thank them. I praise them. I support them, and I will continue to hold those responsible for putting them in danger. Thank you. Reverend Kemp. As we stand here united as one, we are here in different faiths, backgrounds, we, are, we represent different religions, but there is one thing that we stand united in, and that is love. Love covers a multitude of sins, so God, we look to you right now. As I said last night, as I stood at the vigil for the 12-year-old who was shot, there's a different virus that is plaguing the land. There is a different virus that is plaguing in New York City, and that is a virus of violence. But God, we look to you, because that has already been said, it's my people that are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, and seek thy faith, turn from their wicked ways, then I'll heal from heaven, and you will heal the land. Lord, our land needs healing. But we, the Muslims, the Christians, the Jews, the Hindus, and all other faiths, we stand here on a united front, supporting our mayor, supporting the NYPD. We pray, Lord God, that you will continue to unite us because there is strength and unity. Yes. And yes. united we shall stand, but divided we shall continue to fall. But we shall fall no more because we are here, Lord God. We are here seeking your guidance. We thank you, Lord, thank you. for leading us so that we can lead this city back to a peaceful place where the NYPD members, their family members, are not a, they're not afraid for their loved ones to go out and put on their uniforms, concerned on whether they'll come back at night. We thank you, Lord God, 
for giving us a voice to speak up against the violence, to speak up against the hate, yes. to speak up against the division. We know, Lord God, that with you, through you, and in you, we can do all things, because you can do all things but yes. fail. Yes. So we yes. thank, you. thank you. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 That's it. I just want to close out with this real quick. First, I just want to recognize some of the union leadership that was here. Also, uh, I know that the DEA, Paul Giacomo, the president, was here. Um, to the PBA delegates and to all the SBA delegates, thank you so much. To our guardian angels, thank you so much. And I want to just say this to all our cops, and I'm saying this as one from the community. We got your back. There are some of us that are going to be pushing back against those idiots that will call you out in different names. We got your back. You just need to know that there are a lot of us working to make sure that those individuals that don't respect or treat you with the, what you deserve, we got your back, and we will put